Okay, so this is uh, how you use the control uh, button in your keyboard whenever you, uh, let's say we create an opening here, an exact point. So um, let me create the uh, 3D view here. So from this, uh, when 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 we create the uh, the opening here, usually we use two ways. One is creating the points here. Okay, so let's say uh, parallel two points. I'm going to put one one meter, one meter and uh, one point five meter. Apply. So something like this, and then. I'm going to uh, apply again. Ah, oh, sorry, sorry. Wrong. Here, let's say uh, 500 and then 1.2. So usually, this is the way you create an opening, right? So go to the polygon, and then one, two, three, four. So I have the opening. Is this the way you, you create the opening or any other way using the uh, construction line, I guess? Uh, sometimes use the components as well. They are a component. Okay, yeah, component, of course, it's uh, that one is we have to key in the parameter. But uh, this one is uh, when you do it manually. So this is the way usually you do it, right? You use the construction point or sometimes the construction line. All right, so now um, I, I will give you some uh, 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 trick here. Okay, so one is uh, if you have, uh, if you know the size of the opening without using the construction point or construction line, you can just simply pick, uh, okay, you can just simply click the opening by simply uh, adding the size, exact size of the opening from here, one, and then let's say uh, one five, and 2.2. So this is the opening. And then uh, the next part is you can just simply uh, move linear. So here on the linear, you can see the Z direction. So let's say here 500. And then on the uh, X direction, one meter. And then you move that one to the position. So that one is much easier uh, compared to you position the uh, using the construction point. Okay. Now the uh, the much more easier wherein we can simply add the opening to exact position in the wall or whatever uh, model you want. Uh, you can just simply pick the polygon cut. Okay. Select the object to be cut again. This wall. Now from here, I'm going to click from this point, but before I click on this point, I need to press the control key, control and then click, All right? And then here, I'm going to specify the position on the height or uh, of the, uh, the opening, let's say here 600, and then I'm going to press again the control key and then click. And then here, one meter, okay, without, the, without pressing the control key. And then here I can put one, two, 50, one nine, one two fifty, and then okay. Before I click the middle button of your of uh, of my mouse, you will notice that I have you you can see the uh, you can see this line, the black and the uh, red. So this red line, meaning that one is a dummy position of my uh, of my pick point. So wherein it will it will have a reference from the uh, from the point where I pick using the control key, all right? So if I press the control key now, uh, the, the middle button of my mouse, so directly I can do the opening on this exact position. Okay, maybe I'm, I will uh, repeat once again. So polygon cut, pick the part to be cut, the wall, and then here, pick the position. Control, pick the control, press control, press hold the control key and then click and then press hold the control key and then click. And then here, one meter or 900 without pressing the control. So now you can see the, uh, the positioning here. And there you go. 
So using the control key, uh, you can uh, you can do a lot of uh, uh, modeling in an easier manner. Okay, so like what I did earlier when I create the uh, uh, the angle uh, beam. So pick one, and then here this is my reference. This is my reference. Control key, and then click, and then here two meters. There you go. Okay, did you uh, did you get it? You want yes, to sir. you want to try 